Hi students! So I wanted to show you some textures that we can apply to our slabs of clay. Now here I have a really nice soft slab that I threw out using no roller before. And look at this cool bead chain! Okay, so you could do something really interesting like lay a bead chain down and press that into the clay with the heel of your hand. Peel that away. Ooh la la. Okay, I have like just a screw here. Okay, just a regular wood screw. I could take my wood screw and press this texture into the clay and get these really interesting screw marks or use the side of it to roll and make these impressed lines. I have this lanyard that my kids made. This is kind of neat. When I press this in and I peel it up, it gives almost like a snake pattern. Here I have a necklace, a plastic necklace. Toys work really well. This one has little alligators on it, making for an interesting texture. And I can peel that up and get this neat impression. I also have vegetable netting that I have at home from my vegetables. And I could pound this into the clay, peel it away. This is a light texture, but it gives you a fishnet sort of look to it. So this is a really kind of simple, basic way for you to press textures into your clay. Oh, and lastly, I have some leaves and some berries here. These are really nice. I could press those in and peel it away and I get a natural looking. And then if you're going to do some sort of leaf, put the veins of the leaf down, press it into your clay, Peel it up, and this is a light texture, but it's really obvious once you look at it closely that you get the leaf impression as well. If any little bits and pieces are left behind, just leave them. They'll fire out in the kiln. Don't concern yourself. Okay, students, this is just some basic textures for you to experiment with at home. Thank you.